another weekly vlog and Ramadan Mubarak. This is going to be the start of my Ramadan vlog. I'm actually super excited for Ramadan this year. I feel like I was just saying this on my TikTok because I did like a get ready with me on TikTok and I was like every year Ramadan always just comes at the perfect time when your soul needs it most and I'm so glad it's finally here. I'm actually coming to you guys the day before Ramadan so it's currently Saturday and Ramadan is set to start tomorrow night so it's very close by and I actually haven't started like decorating or prepping for Ramadan just yet and I thought what better way than us to do it together it's honestly one of my favorite videos to watch every year just seeing how everyone just decorates the house for Ramadan and just like gets in all the Ramadan feels I feel like I feel this way especially because when I was younger I never used to really decorate or prep well we used to prep for Ramadan we never used to like decorate the house a lot for Ramadan but of course it's not really a necessity to decorate your house for Ramadan to be in the Ramadan spirit and I do realize it's a like massive luxury so I'm honestly just doing it for my younger self and yeah alhamdulillah I'm super grateful and that is not lost on me at all but with that being said I hope you guys enjoy this weekly vlog I bought a bunch of like Ramadan decorations to decorate the whole house with and also tomorrow I'm going to do like a lot of like other preparations so like food prep and all that good stuff that we haven't done already the only thing that I did manage to do was a bit of like last minute cleaning of the house I think it's really nice to be able to do like a proper deep clean of the house before Ramadan actually starts because who wants to do a deep clean when they're fasting because <laughs> I know that's not me I do not want to be doing that so I did that so I could get that out of the way and yeah so tonight we're just going to do a lot of decorating um, I'm also wearing this agaya that I got from Somalia if you guys recognize it from that vlog like oh, this is such a moment mashallah like also in my previous like travel vlogs and stuff if you guys have been keeping up if not you guys can click on one of those buttons up there and watch the vlogs I already said that I'm very much so in my abaya girl era so I'm stocked up with all the abayas and I'm so I love that for me because especially around like this time last year I probably had like three abayas that I was wearing on rotation but now that I have a lot more abayas alhamdulillah I can just wear them to like taraweh prayer and just like enjoy Ramadan fully also girls it's really funny because I never really record in my kitchen like this other than during Ramadan and in my Ramadan vlogs <laughs> I feel like this spot right here is just unlocked whenever it's Ramadan and I'm like guys I forget I have a kitchen usually you guys are like chilling with me in my bedroom or my bathroom when we're getting ready but now we're in the kitchen and I feel like I hope to be in the kitchen a lot more this year and like cook a bit more rather than like ordering out during Ramadan you guys hopefully keep me accountable and also let me know like what kind of foods you tend to make during Ramadan because I think I need that inspiration but with that being said let me show you some of the Ramadan decor that I got this year to decorate the house okay starting off strong we have these gold lanterns that I bought these are honestly so stunning they're a lot more pretty than I thought it would be I'm so glad they look so nice in real life too because obviously whenever you're buying things online sometimes I get scared that it's going to be a catfish moment but these look so stunning it didn't come with any lights inside so I bought these like led lights to put inside and i'm thinking of putting it next to like my prayer section where i have like my prayer mat my prayer grounds and everything like that i feel like it would just look really nice and like jazz up the space a little bit and keeping up with the gold theme we have these gold trays well i should probably put them on the other side so you guys can actually see it's like a moon and a star which is so cute and also if you guys look up close up <laughs> if i can show you guys properly the details on this are of little mosques and stuff and it's so pretty honestly i love this i'm thinking i might put like a bunch of chocolates on this one and maybe some dates on this one or i was initially thinking of putting some fruits on this tray but i feel like it's quite small i don't know we'll see what the vibe is saying once i put this together but i definitely think i want to put some dates on this it looks really good and next up we have a ramadan countdown calendar thing where if you girls can see close up this is how it looks like it has these gold numbers that you can change as the days go on throughout ramadan which will be super helpful because i feel like during like halfway during ramadan i forget what day it is so hopefully i keep this updated maybe during my ramadan vlogs i'll like change them as the days go on but white and gold super cute and next up we have a bunch of led candles mainly for like my dinner table and this one is going to hopefully be for the big lantern as well honestly girls i don't really trust myself with an actual like candle for the lantern i think it's just too big and i don't know what kind of big candle i would put in there but this i do trust myself and especially considering i'm planning to put that big lantern next to like my prayer gown and like my prayer mat 
we don't want to fire so that's all the new things i bought for ramadan this year i actually did have quite a few things that i had from last year that i'm just gonna reuse and use to decorate honestly right now i don't really know how i'm gonna decorate the room so i think i'm gonna decorate everything <laughs> Just like mentally work through the whole process and see where I'll put things and then I'll show you girls the end product because I think if I put things together now I'll probably change it. So I'll probably put everything together and then show you girls the final product So speak to you girls in probably two seconds it's almost two hours later and now we finally finished decorating honestly guys i'm not gonna lie to you i've been filming for instagram and tiktok too and that <laughs> took it out of me it's drained me but we finished decorating and i'm so happy with how everything looks but not gonna lie i don't think this is going to be like the final look if anything it's a draft it's a draft of how everything is going to look throughout the month um but yeah i really like it so let me show you guys how everything is looking starting off with the current kitchen setup of course we don't have any plates out or anything but this is the main star of the show the gold trays i feel like now that there's things in it you can probably see the details on this it's honestly so gorgeous obviously i had to put some dates in the small one inshallah when we're breaking our fast so we'll just have it from there and on the bigger moon tray i decided to put some chocolates inside here i don't know if i'll regret this i'm really going to be testing my willpower every single day but i like how the gold of the ferrara show really matches with the gold of this did i get it for that reason maybe <laughs> or maybe not and this is how the rest of the table is looking of course i included the candles i showed you girls earlier and i love that it's like flickering i reduced the brightness a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better but it's really emulating a true candle which i love to see because i'm not sure how i feel about a real candle on these like tablecloths either but anyways moving on to this lantern over here i actually bought it last year and it's held up really well it's just a white lantern also girls i'm going to try to include everything that i'm showing you girls in the description box down below but yeah this is just a white candle that i got a year ago also included an led light candle in the center if anything i feel like you guys are really learning the fact that i love led lights <laughs> over real candles but well it depends you know it depends on the type of day i say that but it actually depends on the occasion because i do like lighting my own candle by my bedside table but these led lights are just so convenient for decorations so yeah that's a little fun fact. And just moving on to this section of the living room over here, I set up the countdown for Ramadan and I set it at day one, although day one is tomorrow, but day one is coming very soon. And I love that it comes with this dua for breaking fast as well. And girls, you've probably already seen it and guessed it. <laughs> Here's another LED candle. And I love the way that it's just like swaying, doing its thing. <laughs> but um yeah she's setting the vibes up really nicely and now for the prayer corner that we set up over here i use the gold lantern over there which i really love i really feel like it just sets the whole vibes and i also prepared a prayer like basket with like the prayer mat prayer gown and just pretty much the essentials you need to pray i'm loving these prayer gowns from shanute i'll also link them in the description box but they're just so convenient when you're praying and they look so pretty i have a couple of colors in here i think if i just open it up you girls will see but we have this blue one we have this brown one and now this pink one is a new one for me manal is a friend of mine and she kindly gifted it to me but i actually did buy the previous ones myself with my own money and i loved it i've been having it for a year now and yeah i would highly recommend if you girls are thinking of investing in a prayer gown because they just feel so luxurious and nice 10 out of 10 and the last few bits that i set up in the living room is i added this table runner to the table and i actually bought this for eid last year but i feel like that's the thing with like eid and ramadan decorations is that you can reuse them every single year you don't have to keep on buying a bunch of new things so i just added that onto it and it's really nice that the black aspect really matches the table so perfectly and i bought out some qurans as well just put it out so we can see it um i feel like it's really nice to put your quran and everything that you want to do out just so it's more 
more visible and you're more likely like to reach for it especially if it's like in a common area but yeah put out some qurans and lastly i added these led lights underneath the tv just to really set some ambiance i feel like i need to turn off the light just so you guys can see the whole vibes over here firstly this is how the prayer corner is looking like with the lights turned off somebody once said that overhead lighting just kills the whole vibes of everything <laughs> and i couldn't agree more and this is how the tv is looking like with the lights turned off too so that is all the ramadan decorations that i'm going to do for tonight um i'm actually going to go to bed right now can you believe it's currently 12 a.m like i don't know why i randomly got the surge of energy <laughs> to start decorating but you know you've got to take it when it comes so that is everything for tonight i actually have my first food shop of ramadan coming so i'll unbox that and i'll show you guys everything that i'm like planning to have during ramadan and like the foods i plan to make so yeah i'll speak to you guys tomorrow morning it's currently the next day it's sunday and inshallah it's gonna be ramadan tonight i'm looking forward to it but the only thing i would say that i'm not looking forward to is the caffeine withdrawals like i literally just had my morning coffee i feel like especially during the first week of ramadan i tend to get like caffeine withdrawals tend to get headaches like i really wanted to like start weaning myself off of caffeine but i just couldn't do it i remember last year when i used to wake up for suhoor just before fajr i used to also have like my morning coffee as well and just like stay up the morning do all the work i needed to do then go back to sleep around like just after the whole time so we'll see if i do that again this year but yeah i feel like i get my personality back when i have caffeine so we shall see how that goes but yeah this morning i just have a little bit of work to do i'm just gonna edit on my laptop my grocery shopping coming in like 30 minutes so i'm just gonna unpack that put that away i bought a bunch of dates like my favorite dates medjool dates i love um but yeah so i'm gonna show you guys what i get and yeah we'll continue with the day So I just unboxed everything and alhamdulillah we're all stocked up. I feel like this is all going to last me probably like two weeks or a week and a half. So I'm just going to show you girls all the bits I got. I always love having blueberries in my like morning porridge. And I think I'm going to be having a lot of porridge for iftar because it just keeps me very full. So I love blueberries. I also like strawberries but they ran out so I didn't get any this time. I also got these red grapes. I'm on a grape kick lately. I've just been loving them. I don't know why I stopped having them for the longest time. I feel like before I started getting back into grapes again last time i had it was probably a year ago but yeah i'm really loving grapes next i just got my favorite kind of tuna i like these kinds of tuna because they're relatively small and it's perfect for one person so you don't have to open a big can of tuna and finish that because this is the perfect size for me got some apples to snack on and also some avocado um bread for me and my sisters and also some croissants i've been liking these pan of chocolates for whenever i want like a snack but nothing too heavy. I feel like these pan of are perfect. And also decided to get these medjool dates. These are probably my favorite medjool dates ever. They're just like so soft. I feel like with dates, they have to be like a specific kind of consistency, but these ones, they're perfect. And on the topic of snacks, I also decided to get some chocolates just to curb that craving after you have like your iftar and have your food. I always feel like I need something sweet. So whenever I don't feel like the dates, I will go for these chocolates. And also this is my favorite ever Greek yogurt. It's dairy-free yogurt, but since it's like Greek style, it tastes so nice and smooth. I'm not lactose intolerant, but my body just prefers this and it tastes so good. And it's very high in protein as well. And sometimes I just like having that with this chocolate protein granola by Fuel. I really like like the consistency of this i feel like i'm very particular with like granola consistency and if it's like too crunchy and stuff but this is really nice if you haven't tasted it i also stocked up on some cupboard bits so this garlic paste i hate having to chop up garlic i don't know i always feel like it's like stuck on my fingers every time i chop them up so i like it in this paste i also got this pesto just in case i want to make that joe and the juice tuna cardio sandwich just a really nice pesto it's also vegan and as someone that's not vegan i tend to get a lot of vegan things i don't know why next i've been really loving my salads lately so i just got this big cucumber and some croutons to have with that and some health shots too i got this turmeric defense shot 
and this ginger immunity shot as well. I really like these, especially since I'll be fasting, we tend to lack in vitamins as well. And this has high in vitamin B12 and vitamin C, which is always a good thing. And since I like my late night teas, I got this Drink Me Chai Latte. This is hands down the best chai latte ever. If you guys go to like Gales and you like their chai lattes or even some places like Blank Street and stuff, I'm pretty sure they use this stuff because it literally tastes like I got it from the store. And that's perfect because there's literally chai at home. And girls, I've heard a lot of amazing things about this kefir drink it's really good for like gut health and stuff i've never actually tried it before so i'll let you know how i find it i'm kind of scared next i also got my usual oat milk and some cereal as well i like having cereal to snack on and this household also loves their cereal i tend to just get this like weetabix crunch one with high protein i want to see if anything has protein on it i'm probably going to get it because i'm convinced that it's going to be good for me <laughs> next i also got my go-to like porridges i love this sweet cinnamon porridge porridge 10 out of 10 i never used to be a porridge girl but this one it really converted me i'm pretty sure i've been having it for breakfast whenever i've been home pretty much for over a year now like it's amazing but in saying that i'm someone that can have the same breakfast every single day and just not get sick of it you know if it's good if it's working i'll continue doing it and lastly i also just topped up on my like cleaning essentials toiletries all that good stuff and that is the haul so now we've got our groceries i'm just going to put everything away and i'm pretty much just going to spend the rest of the day like working and doing some admin bits so i'm just going to end the vlog here and i hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of the ramadan vlogs inshallah there's going to be more coming i'm hopefully planning to post every like wednesday and sunday but we'll see if i don't post on a wednesday i'm definitely going to post on a sunday inshallah but yeah i hope you guys all have an amazing ramadan i hope all your fasts and prayers get accepted and yeah i'll see you again next week